I was scrolling through Instagram and then I came across this ad. And then I had a brilliant idea. Why don't I just recreate this ad in time for the Super Bowl? So I went ahead and selected my product and then I went to select the produce that I would use. And this is how my version of this Instagram ad turned out. Hello everyone, it's great to see you back here again. I hope you enjoyed this video that you just saw. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite ad. I won't get offended if you pick the Ruffles one, I promise. So sometimes when you get an inspiration to do something, it's good to just take that inspiration and act upon it. And this is what I did with this ad. I know it was really short. I really had a very tight turnaround time. And at the time of the posting of this video, it was probably a day or two before the actual Super Bowl. I am not a big Super Bowl fan. I don't really watch American football. I am a soccer fan though. I watch the other kind of football. That one. So today I'm going to share with you how I created this video ad. So I needed to have a few shots to make this work. One shot of just the back of chips and static since I knew that I was going to add all of the rotations and position and all the keyframing later in post. I used the C-Stand gaff tame and fishing line to hold that back of chips steady. For all of these shots, I actually used a blue screen, just Bristol board that you can get from the dollar store. I wanted to use blue in this case because some of the items that I had had green in them. So I knew green would not work for this video. I then took my display rotation stand and I attached it to styrofoam board and also barbecue sticks and I attached the green peppers, the red peppers and then just captured them by themselves. I also shot the tomatoes twice, once with the tomato hole and another one with a cut tomato. The shot of the single chip was a little bit harder to do. I had to go around the entire bag of chips and find the perfect one that would look okay and look good for a video. The next challenge I found was finding a way to get that potato chip to stand by itself. I wanted it to be in the display rotation stand because I wanted to have a slight rotation captured. In the end, I managed to create a base with blue sticky tag and I put the potato chip on top and just let it rotate. I had to take this shot quickly because that sticky tag was not strong enough to hold that potato chip. But in the end, I was able to get a shot that I was satisfied with. In terms of lighting, I used the Godox SL60 with a narrow and rectangular softbox along with another LED panel with a softbox and also a light to illuminate that background. I also used my tube light and I set it to green to sort of light that rim of each of the products. I knew that my composition would have a green field as the background, so I thought it would add a little bit to the scene if I lit each of the products with a little bit of green on the side. The entire video really came together in the editing process. I created a rough mask for each of the object before I added the key light effect to key out that blue. That just allowed me to filter out anything that wasn't blue in the scene that the blue couldn't key out. I then added simple CC wire removal to remove all the remaining wooden sticks. Once all the elements were keyed, I found a green field background that I used, and then I added stock footage of spotlights to give me that sort of football field sort of paparazzi sort of feel. I created a mask for the spotlight because I wanted all of that light to be focused in the center and then I adjusted the feathering accordingly so that there would be a nicer fall off from the center. I then created a composition in the 4x5 aspect ratio since that is the aspect ratio best suited for an Instagram ad. And if you don't know how to find an aspect ratio, you can go to aspect ratio calculator and then just find the exact pixel count that you need to set your composition at. So I knew I wanted to keep my height of the video at 1080, so that just meant that the width would be 864 pixels. Just like the original ad, I wanted all of the elements to zoom in and rotate in from the middle of the frame. So all I did was create keyframes for scale and rotation. For the back, I also added a puppet position effect just to give it a little bit of a subtle movement as it zoomed into the frame. From there, I added a wiggle effect on position for all of these objects. This is just an effect that makes it a lot easier for you to have a, an object that is moving like that instead of you having to animate frame by frame that position. Before moving on to the next shot, I wanted this green to sort of open up, sort of like the original ad. So what I did was just create a mask on the background layer and then I duplicated the same clip and I went to the second clip and inverted that mask so that later on I could just animate the position for these clips to reveal an opening into the next shot. 
The Ruffles video had a TV in the background, so I tried to add my own version of that. I composited a TV with a screen of a football field, and I put it in the background of the video, but I didn't really like the way it was looking, so I got rid of that idea. This second shot, I used the same green field background, but this time I layered it with different backgrounds. I also found another photo of a football field, but with the white lines and the yard lines and everything, and then I blended it with the grass texture. I set the mode to multiply on this clip, and I adjusted the opacity a little bit. I also used this texture background and I blended it in with the rest of the background further. I played around with the different blending modes until I was happy with one. I ended up using color dodge on two of those backgrounds. I also found another stock clip of weird lighting that was flashing across the screen and I thought this looked very similar to those lights on the top of stadiums. So I thought this would blend in very nicely with my last scene. The last thing that I found was a football on a green screen. Since I don't have a football at home, I couldn't shoot this one by myself because I have the other kind of football, you know, the soccer ball. But I found a stock clip of this and the lighting on this football was not the best it, was, it didn't really blend too much with my scene so what i did i added a light in after effects and i played a little bit around with that light and after effects to try to blend that football as much as possible to the scene this could have been done a lot better and it would have been easier if i shot it myself but i'm satisfied with the way it looks there was also a very very subtle smoke dirt element right in between some of these shots. I'm not sure if you noticed it. I want it to be noticeable, but not too noticeable. I just wanted it to be subtle enough to add a little bit more to the video. For the text, I knew I wanted to come up with something that this company already used. So I went on their website, I looked at their product description and just try to find two words that I could incorporate on this video. I want it to be short and sweet and easy to read and to the point. So I came up with these two words and I think it works very well. I chose a font also that would match the overall football sort of feel. The chip and the text were also animated with rotation and scale keyframes. After all of this was done, I went ahead and color corrected all of the elements to make them blend in together more nicely. So once I was done color correcting all of this, I went in and created the sound design. And I know a lot of people don't really watch ads on Instagram with their sound on, but it's important to, if they decide to watch it with the sound on, that your video has good sound design for the video to attract the audience even further. So I picked a song that will match the Super Bowl Sunday mood, and I also added sound effects that would match a football field, crowd cheering, people on the stadium, and that kind of stuff. So that's how pretty much I created this Super Bowl Instagram ad. This video is not sponsored at all. I simply enjoy this product and I had it at home. So it made sense to use it without having to go out and buy myself more products. All right, so that is all for today's video. This is how I created my own version of this Super Bowl Instagram ad. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment below as well. If you can, your support will always be appreciated. So that is all for today, guys. Until next time.